Even with a grueling schedule like this, everyone seems to have high spirits and a sense of harmony. I wonder where it all comes from. It looks like something serious is going on here. So this is what we kind of, this is part of our... You our, love this, don't you? Ping we, pong's your thing. Well, the truth is, what else could we play? Ping pong it is. Ping pong it Are is. Are you good? Yeah. Are you? No, yeah. We're pretty good. We're pretty good. Michael takes his custom-made table with him all over the world when he tours, and as a result, there seems to be a little ping-pong rivalry. This is Nick Vinox, trombone player, Hello. and my, one of my nemesis, -es. nemesis, my nemesis, nemesis, my nemesis, nemesis. My nemesis too. We go head-to-head -head every day. You know, we've been hitting it for three years, so each person gets a little better, and then the other person has to step up their game. And the trash talking is intense. It's pretty serious stuff. These two guys are constantly playing each other's back and forth, back and forth. Uh, if I had to guess right now, I would say... Wow. Wow. You guys catching that? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Bublé takes it! Salam FM, Big John at Breakfast, Monday 27th of September, and Michael Bublé comes to the arena with Hallam FM tonight. Sheffield, the steel city, home to the Blades and the Owls, and another two rivals, Great Britain's Darius Knight and his arch nemesis, British champion and UK number one, Paul Drinkhall. They join Michael backstage before heading off to compete at the Commonwealth Games. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no! no! Hey! That's incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Alright, let's let's just go. I don't need warm up. You need some shorts as well, then if you're gonna get real I don't need shorts or anything. No? Usually sure. I play in a suit with a nice tuxedo. See how they play. <laughs> Rip it into my nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how often do you get to play then? We play every day. Everybody. All these guys. We love it. We, it's a great way to keep in shape. You just, you know, Nick, you're his little bitch, Nick. What happened? It's just a nice way to build camaraderie for you and exercise and you get a good sweat going and it just gets you warm through the day. Oh, oh, Jose! <laughs> when there's no camera there and it's real life, we are... It's, it's, it's intense, absolutely. A lot of temper tantrums. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yelling and screaming and uh, oh. the best but Actually, there's nothing better than when a guy loses it. You know? <laughs> I've broken probably about 80 rackets. Uh, I know Nick has eaten about four balls. There's been chairs thrown and things, you know. You know what, man? Honestly, it's a real g privilege to yeah, be able to have done this. We've, we've talked about a moment like this for, for the whole year. Fun! This game is fun! How do you not swear and stuff when you play? That's right. my man. Yeah, yeah, they're not bad. I mean, uh, definitely the more we played with him, the more he got better. Um, you, you could see um, he's definitely obviously played the game a lot. Um, you can see he's quite passionate about the game and he really does love it. Just gets a little bit impatient sometimes, like everybody does, I think, when, when they play table tennis. Um, see a ball, you get a slight chance and they want to whack it. Do you know that I think that I would trade lives with you? <laughs> you guys want to get up on stage and sing tonight? Nah. Okay. Today I had one of the coolest days of my life. There's two gentlemen named Paul Drinkle and Darius Knight. Now what you might not know is that both of them are going to the Commonwealth Games to represent Britain. So.